You know, Christ, I disagree with Total Biscuit on so many things. But one cannot deny that man's influence. One wild rant of his and the hounds of Biscuitville are off on the loose, attacking whomever the cynical Brit deems worthy of his righteous fury. This time, it's G2A, one of the shadiest game sellers on the market. You see, it seems Mr. Biscuit went off on a bit of a tirade last week on how G2A is shite. And make no mistake, they are certainly a shite company. And I would not be making this video if it were to end there. But because the hounds of Biscuitville are such ravenous beasts that they are never satisfied while there is still breath left in the body, of course this has spilled over the bed. One good turn of events about this is that other YouTubers are now talking about the downside to GTA. One such video that I highly recommend is done by Level Cap Gaming. It's very informative on how G2A makes a profit off stolen keys and how such actions hurt the publishers. So, if you want more information on that, I highly recommend that you check them out. So, some of you may be wondering why I'm making this silly video of mine and why I haven't made the grade A under A video that I said I was going to do yesterday. And that's because I obviously love taking the unpopular opinion, which is, I think that G2A needs to stick around for a bit longer. Now, why is that? Because money, that's why. Bags of fucking money. Truck loads of fucking money. You see, I like watching streamers on Twitch. And just recently, while I was working on the other video, I was watching uh, Amaz play Hearthstone. And Amaz is sponsored by G2A. And I couldn't help but notice that the hounds of Biscuitville, or the hounds of whatever fucking ville they were coming from, were starting to say in the chat some of their self-righteous bullshit about how Amaz needs to get rid of G2A. You see, a lot of streamers are sponsored by G2A. And... The last thing we need, on top of all the YouTube drama bullshit that is currently infesting this site, is a witch hunt for all the G2A prostitutes. Yes, G2A is shite, but they are needed shite. Their money supports a lot of content creators, who otherwise wouldn't be able to entertain us without access to their bloodstained money. Now, obviously, that's not the case for big streamers like Amaz, Crip, and whoever the fuck else you wish to name that also has a large following. But for little baby streamers who are just starting out or have a very small following, that money can mean a difference between content and no content. Now, this is especially true of major gaming tournaments, which are sponsored by G2A. But for reference, so we can get some clarity here, here is a list of all the companies that have banned G2A sponsorships because of their shady business practices. Raya. Yeah, that's it. That's all the companies. One company. Just one company had the balls to turn down G2A's money. And that company happens to be the biggest fucking game in the world. Everyone else is gladly taking G2A's money. And perhaps Riot is by some backroom deal that we can't figure out. And I'm sure if people can stop cursing me and wishing that I were dead, you might ask, why is that? Because while gaming is popular and growing in terms of sponsorships, we still have a good way to go from getting funded by companies that are outside of our own. You see, sure, we will see companies like NVIDIA, Razer, AMD, or Intel sponsor events or teams. That is because it is very much, mm, that is because it is very much in their interest to do so. And some of you may ask, well, that's just events, right? What about pro gaming teams? Well, here, let's see, I'm going to cherry pick a few because I didn't have the time to look up more. Let's check out cloud Nine sponsors. All right, so we have Logitech, a computer company, Kingston, a computer company, 
Alienware, a computer company, HTC, a phone and computer company, and NVIDIA, a console, maybe if we're lucky, and a computer company. How great. Once again, a self-supporting environment. All these companies have a high interest in technology. Then what about Team Liquid sponsors, eh? Let's check here. Team Liquid. Uh, did I pull them up? Of course I didn't pull them up because I'm a fucking idiot. Fine. Team Liquid. I'm pretty sure I spelled it wrong. Yes, I did. Team Liquid sponsors. And I spelled that also wrong. Fuck it. I don't have time. Team Liquid sponsors. Right. We have Twitch. We have HTC. Poker Stars, HyperX, Team Razor, Alienware again. You notice a bit of overlap here. Jinx, Instant Esports, Quest Gaming, Need for Seat, which is nice, nice, that's a nice name actually, and Nissan. And I'm going to say this. Nissan is a bit of a uh, I'm sorry. Nissan is a bit of a surprise for me. And to whomever in the marketing department who pulled that off should get a lot of praise for that. Look, G2A is one of those early sponsors to help support gamers before the other companies would. And at the same time, they are a shit company who knowingly deals in shady business. Not everything is always so fucking black and white. And this is my belief, that G2A is still needed as a sponsor, especially for new streamers who are trying to turn this into a career. Maybe not so much for people who are already established. Maybe in the next five years or so, it won't be so bad. And maybe we will get gaming events sponsored by Clorox Bleach or something. But until then, I think we need them. Anyway, I'm done. I can talk more about this, but I have to go to work soon. And... I still have to do my grade A under a video next. I'm still working on that. So, as always, I will see you all in my next video. Take care.